Hello, Barney Badger Army. Hey, Badger Army. Some exciting news. Indeed. Ooh, yes. Today, me and Mr. Nick were filming Necromonicon Lost in the Woods again. That's what it's called until we think of something better. If or, we don't, then that's its title. That's its title. And that's what I thought of the other day. I was like, hmm. And this sequel come reboot slash wibbly thing is brought to you by the fact that I badgered Nick constantly about it and went, we can do a sequel. I know there's room for a sequel. I know we can do it. And you were like, nah, mate. <laughs> nah, mate. Nah. Brother, ugh. I mean, it's been nearly two years since we did the first one. It was the first sort of film that we did together. That's right. So, and yeah, you pretty much wanted to revisit it since then. Yes. I mean, in Evil Dead 2 form, you know, like it was explained to you earlier, technically Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2 are sequels to each other, but also Evil Dead 2 is a soft reboot as well. So, yeah, it was just one of these things where I wanted to revisit it with more knowledge that we've got now. Um, the effects we've got now, the ideas we've got now, and all the different nuances and different things we could do, and also the chemistry that, that Big Cheese and Nick and Jimmy have got uh, has developed, and I wanted to see that in that situation as well. And as you'll see when you watch the film, there's a lot more into each scene now, isn't there? And it's not just reading a joke and moving on. We've developed something different for that. And it's really worked quite nicely. And, uh, you know, the ideas were really sort of pumping in today. And I was very proud of how well we did. And this fits my original vision for Necromonicon Lost in the Woods again a bit more. So that's what I was very pleased with, is it actually fits in with my original vision more. Uh, so there was a couple of little bits that we had to leave out, but I'm hoping we can develop that maybe into the third one. <laughs> You're going to have a third one? Yeah. This is news. That's Perhaps. an exclusive, even to me. Perhaps. This, if the storyline's right there, and if we can get the ideas there, I want Necromonicon and Balamor to tie in with each other. So I mean, they basically can, do anyway. They do anyway through the storyline peak of the Essex FBI. But I want some of the characters and some of the villains from Balamoran to tie in with Necromonicon. Uh, so if we can do that, I'll be very happy. And that'll be the third part. So, yeah, there is that. But, yeah, do you want to tell everyone about today's shoot, Nick? Because it was quite fun. Well, to be honest with you, I think where we thrive is where we just throw... We, we just kind of like throw everything at it, mm -hmm. you know, I bet, you know, and that's, that's pretty much what we do on most of our films and on the, these kinds of films, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just right. Let's take this prop with us. Mm -hmm. Let's include this as well. Mm -hmm. You know, let's not just do the lines. Let's deliver them in a style that works for us. That's it. Yeah. You know, so. I think really with these kind of things, you just have to kind of like embrace what's going on that's it, yeah. around you. And, you know, and that's what makes it fun and makes it, and hopefully yeah. what makes it uh, amusing fun. for viewers as well. Yeah, I, I really think you guys will love it because, like I said, it is literally more my original vision for Necromonicon. So it's got more humour in it. It's got better quality camera, better quality mic. In all these different things. I'm very pleased with how well it went. Um, and the the fiddliest bit was actually the scenes indoors, wasn't it? <laughs> they were the fiddly bits because we forgot the mics and everything and yes. had to reshoot. Um, but the bit, the bit actually where we're hunting for the Necromonicon pages actually went down quite well, actually. So that was really good. Proud of that. Uh, weather was very nice. Not too hot, not too cold. Uh, so, yeah, it went really well. <laughs> and like I said, it was a really good uh, inspirational thing for improv. Um, I really think uh, Big Cheese and Nick's character, and of course Jimmy's character when he's in it, really thrive with our natural charisma and our natural banter anyway. 
Um, you know, I think writing lines for the characters per se would be quite hard. I think, you know, we're actually better off just bantering off as friends. And just yeah, the majority of it's improvised. And I mm. suppose that's that's better with those kinds of characters yeah. than if we carefully crafted a script. That's it. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, the smaller you were looking at my plan when you were like, this is just the ravings of a madman. <laughs> Those weren't my exact words, but not far off. No, why is there not like, tea stains everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> tea stains, coffee and sweat and the odd bogey on there. But yeah, <laughs> it went really well. It was really fun. And uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Uh, probably sooner rather than later, actually, because I uh, it was a really good shoot. Uh, there's a few sound effects I wanted to put in, a few effects. A lot of the pra effects were practical, uh, this one, because obviously that lends in with Necromonicon Lost in the Woods uh, again. <laughs> that lends in that there's going to be a lot of practical effects. So there's going to be some uh, music, there's going to be some sound effects, and there's going to be the odd bad png but you know that's to be expected with a zero budget film just throwing everything at it mm -hmm. indeed and on that note don't forget guys if you'd like to donate towards the films or donate towards anything to do with the channel it really is appreciated and it's many many thanks to you guys that we were able to create these films and thank you very much that you've constantly watched and helped out and a big thank you to everyone that watched uh parent control activity because that was a hoot to film while we're here do you want to tell everyone about your experience on there because we never got a chance to write talk about that did we while we were here right yeah i mean i was uh, i was in it for like one scene and i was and it was just often a case of and so yeah so i'm just like yeah just like you're going to walk in holding a banana and you're going to go around and go around the house and things like that so i'm like okay so yeah it was just lots of wandering around and once again it was mostly improvised you know we were going on something quite rough and uh but yeah i mean if it's loosely based on uh if it's loosely based on a certain franchise of scary movie um mm. but at the same but at the same time you know you're trying to make it funny at the same time you know yeah. so it's like yeah so yeah you know it's just all that coming up with some silly lines and... it did work quite well actually i thought yeah uh, yeah so perhaps if we the story is there we'll do a para control too uh i know we're definitely going to be working on the mental health awareness uh, we've run out of time for men's mental health awareness month but we're still going to do it and it's going to be called one last and that is uh, coming soon once we film all the bits and uh, pieces for that so i'm quite looking forward to that and uh, we've got an essex fbi film hopefully coming out with the lovely kraken media soon haven't we yes during the summer so uh, if you're thirsty for more there will be some coming up and me and nick will be doing a essex fbi investigates film with jimmy and nick soon as well uh that's going to be like a ghost hunting one we've been threatening to do that for a while um you know so that one's going to be out soon as well. So there's a lot of stuff. If you enjoy the Essex FBI brand, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. And of course, there's going to be a load of other films coming out with the team as well. So it's going to be good fun. Righty ho, it's time to go. And thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you soon. Indeed, Necrobonicon Lost in the Woods again will be out very soon. See you later. Bye. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Do all those things. Indeed. And you can even become a member of the channel. That's it. 99 pence. Really does help. Indeed. See you all later. Bye. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army.